Well, hello everyone. As I am taking this video, it is late Wednesday night, March the 11th, 2020. And uh, it's been a few days since the end of the Plant City Strawberry Festival. The raucous, crowded madness and awesomeness we know as the Plant City Strawberry Festival, as it turns out, number 85. Kind of a milestone. There was a lot of good headliners out there this year, including Reba McIntyre, uh, Leonard Skinner, Rascal Flats. Anyway, uh, now that I've had a chance to step back and catch my breath, I wanted to make a quick little video to talk about a few things uh, that I wasn't able to fit in the other Strawberry Festival video for time uh, reasons. Uh, first off, what was the weirdest thing that happened? Uh, that would probably be a family that uh, was a, a, a group of three, mom, dad, and kid, that about halfway through the drawing, the kids started doing the pee pee dance needed to, to go pee, and they were afraid to just leave the drawing and go because they thought they were gonna lose their place in line, which is very likely they would have. And so instead, they just kind of took him on around behind our tent and peed right there on the grass in the open Open public. Well, not really open. It was kind of behind the rides, but still, it was. Uh, there was a chain link fence there with a big old line of people right on the other side of the fence. I don't believe that fence served as very, very much privacy. But uh, they did. They they had their little kid pee right there on the grass. Uh, also, uh, somebody asked me what is the newest craze in and fair deep fried food fads. Uh, well, I was kind of looking for that, so uh, I got a few pictures. One of them I didn't get a picture of, and that would be cornflake chicken on a stick. And that's that's basically your regular fried chicken, battered fried chicken, but they put cornflakes into the batter, and supposedly that makes it a lot more, I don't know, chunky bread, crispy bits that stick out of the bread and make it Hold more grease, maybe? Uh, didn't get a picture of that. Couldn't find it, but I heard people talking about it. Uh, what I did get a picture of was um, something they're calling deep-fried tacos. They're actually doing this now. They're deep-frying tacos. Somehow they're getting them to hold together while they batter them, and then they deep-fry them. All the ingredients of the taco are still there. Uh, there was also something else that I don't remember from last year. That would be the Donut S'mores. The Donut S'mores. Um, but probably the top of the list, I don't know if this is new, I think it probably is, and I got a picture of it, it would be deep fried cheesecake. Yeah. <laughs> because having cheesecake just isn't enough. Uh, you gotta deep fry it too. So yeah. They're deep frying cheesecake now. Now, I will say that, guys, I did not partake in any one of these, these uh, fair delicacies. Did not eat a single one. I, I ate the island noodle and um, Greek salads and a little bit of falafel. Uh, and the island noodles, they were not enriched white flour noodles. They, I asked them what the noodles were made of, and they said, I think they said durum and buckwheat. Um, they were pouring a lot of oil into the woks, too, so I'm sure they weren't real good for me, but certainly not as bad as eating cornflake chicken. So, there's that. Um, something else memorable that happened was that uh, I actually noticed that the top of a light pole, in the middle of the fairgrounds, there was an osprey nest. And, uh... The osprey came in, I remember seeing the osprey fly in one day and kind of look around like, what is going on? Because these fairgrounds are basically, I think they're just flea markets and rodeos for most of the year. But then for that 10 days of the Strawberry Festival, it is pure madness around this poor osprey's nest. She probably just did not know what to think. But she seemed to be okay. I saw her actually bringing sticks in and uh, going in back and forth to the to the nest and adapting all right. But uh, yeah, she uh, she definitely was kind of doing the WTF look around. And so I decided to name her 
Reba. And that is spelled R-E-B-A. <laughs> so if any of you out there go out to the Plant City Fairgrounds, look up and see the osprey nest, and you see an osprey fly in and out. Her name is forevermore Reba. <laughs> Uh, wow, it was great. I, uh, I just, it was hard work, but at the same time, so awesome and just, just great. I, I had, I had such a great time out there. Um, but that's it. That's all I really wanted to say about the Plant City Strawberry Festival 2020, number 85. So, right now I am sitting in, uh, um, Fernandina Beach, Florida, at a place in Fernandina Beach, Florida, and I decided to stop by here to do this. It's March the 10th now, and uh, some good news, guys, is I'm out here with Francis Watson, the <laughs> uh, organizer for the Shrimp Festival, and just took care of the contract. I'm going to do a close-up on this so you guys can get a good idea of the dates. It's very simply May 1, 2, 3, and it's that's going to be... Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you can come out on Thursday. The, the parade is on Thursday. Yes. Right? It's going to be a big deal for me this year because uh, Beth Hammer is coming down. Of course, Troll 9002 that you guys know, as uh, that's Danielle, is going to be there. So uh, we're going to have some fun. And, yeah, we've got I'm, I've got the paperwork done, guys. <laughs> we're <all> good. <laughs> and uh, they're doing a few things to try to revitalize and bring a little more interest to it this year. Uh, it's going to be all wristbands, all three days. Uh, so you can, yeah, one, a one-time fee each day to just uh, play, play and, and, and ride as much as you want. Uh, I'm not going to be part of the wristband thing. You still have to pay per drawing with me. But, um, I know that brings in a lot more kids to the wristbands. Also, the, uh, they've got the local radio on board, so we're gonna, they're going to be advertising local radio and also all the coupon books that you see everywhere. It's going to have some stuff. So it's going to be a Hopefully. We're going to have real pirates. Oh, yeah, real the pirate pirates. club's coming out, right? Yes. Gonna be, there's going to be putt-putt golf that you can do for free. Um, so we're, we're really hoping that's going to revitalize things and bring some more interest to the Kids Fun Zone. Absolutely. And uh, the Shrimp Festival in general. So, yeah, awesome. That's what we need. Oh, and by the way, she is a subscriber of Will and Dawn. Yes, I yeah. love it. I love she it. loves Will Keep and Dawn. <laughs> yeah, and she didn't even know that I was friends with Will and Dawn. She's yeah. just like, oh, there's this couple out there that's been covering the floods around Gatlinburg. And All they're just night like, long I yeah. watched it. She was watching them. It was sick. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm friends with them. That is neat. Yeah, I'm going to have to get her to subscribe. friend here. He to, comes from our hometown. I'm going to have to get her to subscribe to my channel now as well. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Here. That's right guys, the spot has been paid for and all arrangements made for me to be at the Amelia Island Shrimp Festival hosted by the city of Fernandina Beach, Florida, first weekend of May, again, in 2020. And uh, so if you're thinking about perhaps coming down to Florida for a big event, please give the Shrimp Festival a consideration. It is actually right over the border of Georgia into Florida on the Atlantic side so it makes for a shorter trip and it's also a lot of fun tons of things to do there's going to be a whole row of food vendors down by the beach and then tons of uh, art booths and things to do and then of course there is the kids corner where I'm going to be working out in Central Park in Fernandina so yeah, that's all I have for now. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to indicate so by hitting that thumbs up like button. Leave some comments down in the comment section. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And make sure to turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon and going over and selecting all. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one.